What's going on guys, it's Ashley here, welcome back to another Wolves video. Today we're going to be talking about where we're really going wrong this season because let's say let's face it we haven't really had the greatest of starts to this season three draws two defeats uh in our first five games of the new premier league season not exactly the best start is it um second bottom five games in doesn't really mean anything really i mean it, you could be in watford's position um five games in and you could still finish like 12th in the league. So it doesn't really mean anything. But it is a little concerning because we're doing well in the Europa League. Obviously we've got to the group stage now. We've got a pretty decent group. And the group stages literally start on Thursday. So we're doing well in that competition. But it's to the detriment of the Premier League. As um, as I said, three draws, two defeats, games that we could have and really should have won, 5-2 um, defeat to Chelsea, a poor performance really there, um, a poor performance in the first half against Man United but we were saved by the second half performance uh, in that game and uh, managed to scrape a draw there, um, a game... Uh, uh, opening game of the season against Leicester, you could uh, you could argue we we should have really won that um, if it wasn't for VAR. Um, so a couple of things um, haven't really um, gone our way, um, but at the same time it is a it isn't the best start to the season, and we need to find that balance because soon enough. It's it's all well and good. Okay, we, we're winless in our first five in the Premier League this season, but it doesn't really matter. It's only it's only five games in. But if you think about it, we're doing well in the Europa League so far. If that continues, and we put our all our effort into the Europa League, as it looks like, um, it, it, as it looks like what's happening so far then we could we could potentially be in trouble by christmas because five games in five games in winless if that stretches out a few more games the pressure is the pressure will start to mount and by christmas we could be in some deep deep trouble depending on how how deep we get into the europa league we've got quite deep so far because then we've got quite through quite a few qualifying rounds and we've even now got to the to the point of the group stage depending on how far how, um how far we go in that we could be in some deep trouble by christmas um but on the flip side if, if we get a few wins in in the next couple of games uh in the next couple of games we've got crystal palace and watford on our next two those are, are very winnable games watford they've uh, had a um they had a decent fight back yesterday against Arsenal and picked up um, a valuable point in a, a poor start to the season for them. But that's got to be surely a, a winnable game. Watford at home and Crystal Palace away, those have got to be winnable games. We won at Crystal Palace last season. Hopefully we can win again there this time round what do we do is it is it a change of formation possibly maybe go all expansive in in the europa league stick with the formation we've got in the europa league because that seems to be working still um that seems to be working still. we played well with the formation we've been playing in the, the premier league we've been playing with it seems like we've been playing with that in the europa league as well um and it's it's been working in, in the europa league so maybe stick with that formation and and change it up a bit for the Premier League. Um, ch change the uh, formation up a little bit. I don't know. Um, hopefully, um, hopefully this is just a, a bit of a poor start to the season. Considering we had uh, quite an early start to the season. With uh, quite a few games uh, jammed in uh, with the Europa League. I think it was uh, three games before the start of the season. Uh, I think we had we had both legs against Crusaders and one 
uh, the uh, the away leg against Punic um, before uh, before the start of the Premier League season. So we had um, quite a few games um, already uh, under our belt before the uh, season even has begun. So I don't know. Maybe maybe a change of formation. Uh, maybe that's what's required, but. Let's let's see what happens. Um, anyway, Crystal Palace on Sunday, um, and then um, and then uh, Watford the week after. Surely those have got to be winnable games. If we win those two, um, then uh, I'd say um, I'd say we're back on track and uh, we're in um, a much more healthy position. But at the moment, there's work to be done. A lot of work to be done. Um, shipping five goals at home in the weekend. At the weekend, that's not like us. We since our return to the Premier League, we have not been like that at all. Um, I don't think we've even shipped um, five goals. Um, even against Man City, um, we lost. Uh, even against Man City away, we only lost three um, nil. We didn't get absolutely. Well, we probably did get absolutely bad, but that, um, anyway, I'm going going off track um hopefully we can pick it up uh, in the next couple of games um um and uh yeah next game is on thursday though we turn our attention to the europa league again and uh we've got uh i'm pretty sure we've got we, we've got braga uh for the first game um of the europa league group stage and uh yeah and winning that hopefully uh, will boost the confidence. What do you think? What do you think needs to happen uh, to um, to start getting results? Um, leave it in the comments section below and uh, make sure to smash that like button uh, if you did enjoy and uh, I shall see you uh, I'll see you on Friday with a review of the Europa League game uh, against Braga. Until then, goodbye guys!